All right, so up that here is a small dodgeball. Um, we're gonna work on teaching the body what rotation really is at the hip, right? And I actually was having a conversation with one of the golf pros we work with, and we were talking about what is rotation, and does the hips really rotate? They, they do, but really it's a uh, combination of your femurs, your legs, internally and externally rotating while your, your actual hip bone forward and uh, backwards tilts on each side alternating, right? So what we're gonna do to help teach what rotation is instead of you know swaying and sliding side to side is we're gonna take this ball, we're gonna put it between our knees in golf posture. All I want to do is try to roll the ball back and forth between my legs. A lot of people will ask, well, can my knee go forward? It has to, right? If you think about yourself, when you go to the top of your backswing, your left knee goes forward, right? To be able to shift the right hip back. And when you swing through, your right knee goes forward, your left hip goes back. So your knees have to move. So don't, uh, don't stop them from moving. Don't feel like you have to move just at the hips itself. It's the whole thing from the hips down have to work together, okay? So I'm gonna put that ball between my legs and I just want to, and you have your arms crossed, chest, whatever, I wanna roll that ball back and forth to get my hips moving. I'm gonna turn around so you can actually see what the hips rotating looks like. All right, so here I am, I've got the ball, and I'm just gently squeezing, and then I'm going to roll the ball back and forth between my hips. The hips are not going side to side. I'm not doing anything weird where I just shift my hips side to side. All I'm doing is rolling the ball back and forth between my hips. Now, we can take it an extra step, and one of the things we know that we have to be able to do in the golf swing is separation of the upper and lower body. So if I come to the top of my backswing and I can't separate and I need my hips to fire first so that my arms can go second, well, they're all gonna fire first and you're most likely gonna get like over the top or you're just gonna get really handsy with your swing. One of the things we can do to help with this, I'm gonna use a rack, but you can hold on to a doorway if you have a ball like this. All I wanna do is I want to grab the rack or wall, doorway or whatever you have. I'm going to get in my golf posture. I'm gonna hold it tight and then I wanna roll that back and forth so that my upper body is staying still. Now we're getting separation of that upper and lower body, okay? So now we've worked on some rotation, we've worked on some upper and lower separation, but now again, we wanna really focus on being able to rotate the hips instead of swaying, sliding, and doing all these extra movements.